<laughs> oh, hi, YouTube. Just come by to give a quick uh, video. This was, uh, what's the day? Thursday? Yeah. Yesterday, I went into the hospital to have a procedure done. You know, regular procedures. I've had so many of them. But when I was in the recovery room, I woke up to hear Aretha Franklin singing. Um, I forget the name of something. Uh, you make me feel like a, a natural woman. And I opened my eyes. I said, what is this? I, and then I thought maybe it's a, another patient's, a patient playing the, their phone. And then more Aretha Franklin. It was loud, too. So as the nurse was taking the IV needles out and everything, I said, I really like the music y'all have in here. And the nurse kind of looked at me. She said, we all had to have something that would pick us up because it's been pretty rough the past few days. And in my mind, I was saying, ooh, Aretha would be proud. I mean, her song is lifting up a whole... ER, I mean, a uh, recovery room in the outpatient uh, ward. It's pretty good, pretty big uh, ward, too. I would say it's about 20 beds, and somebody was in every spot, too. But they, uh, the doctor that did the injection, she was supposed to do the left and the right sacral area, and she only did the right. So the nurse says, you need to come back. We made an appointment for you to come back next month on the 19th. And she said, but the way things are looking, we probably won't be able to do it. When I looked, she said, oh, I shouldn't even be saying this. She said, but it's pretty bad. So we, it's, things are going to be different. And she kind of walked away and did something else. And I said, well, she really wants to tell me something, but... Hmm. So she helped me get dressed and my dress myself, but helped me to pack my little stuff up. And she wheeled me out to the uh, pickup area. And what we were waiting there for when my son for him to come pick me up. And she began to talk. We were talking about the weather and how hot it is. And she seemed to be my age because she was talking about the heat when she was a kid and she lived in the same area mind you me this hospital is in kind of like uh where you get your cowboys and your rednecks live there but it's a, a built up place Baylor's got and white in Sunnyvale so but I noticed this time they had a lot of big tents out there and I don't know what they were doing with those tents but she was talking about how the heat it's still the same kind of heat that we've always had. And she was talking about water coolers or swamp coolers. We all had that. And a lot of people don't know anything about that. But she may have felt comfortable talking to me because we were about the same age. And she just kept shaking her head. She kept saying, I don't know. I don't know. And she said, Aretha Franklin has really pulled us through. So... I don't know how to take that, and I don't know if somebody died in uh, their nurses or doctors or something. I don't know what was making her so down, but it had to be something, had something to do with the COVID. I know it had to be COVID, and then for her to say she didn't think they were going to be able to do the procedure next month, she said it's going to be totally different, so maybe they know something. I know they do. They know something we don't know. So, I don't know, it's not bad news, but I think it's good to be in the know about the situation. Uh, I don't know. I just hate that people are not adhering to the rules and believing that this uh, is real, put on a mask. And I don't know why people don't believe it. And it's just taking forever for this um, curved or flattened, and they're talking about making the kids go to school, I don't know, I'm not one to think about doom and gloom, but 
I have never, as many surgeries I've had, I know I've had probably 20 surgeries in my lifetime. I have never heard them playing music in the recovery room. I just never have heard that. And they have Aretha Franklin blasting, man. A natural woman. You make me feel like a natural woman and uh, respect. I mean, just a, a lineup of nothing but her songs. So you go, Aretha, even in death, we still hear you. But anyway, guys, um, keep doing what you're doing and wearing the mask. I think um, we'll be okay, but yeah, we got to be okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.